How's everybody doing? I'm Zach with Blades LLC here in central Minnesota. My wife and I own a lawn and landscaping company here and this is our setup behind me here for 2022. Truck in the front here, trailer in the back. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the products that we use, maybe why we use them. We'll get a little more into that here in just a second, but let's get into it. All right, so like I said, it's just my wife and I mainly. Uh, my wife's brother helps us out every now and again, but it's pretty much a setup for two people. Uh, my wife, she primarily trims. I do most of the mowing, but occasionally she'll mow with me. But yeah, let's dive into it here. We got the 2014 uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. This is a crew cab long box. Uh, we do plow snow with it. It can be kind of a headache. You can see the plow mount down there because it's just so stinking long, but it does its job. Uh, I bought a older uh, Hineker poly plow a few years back and it's been really good to me. Uh, I had it on um, the previous truck I had to this. So I've had this one for two seasons now. Got the rigid toolbox in the back here. This is the 48 inch in case any of you were wondering. I have a video on that. Uh, we'll just go into the truck bed here got the brute can typically carry that we can you can see we got sticks and stuff in there I typically carry a few rakes a few shovels a spare tire um, My con cooler which is loaded full of drinks and ice and then We have the BR 800 X and I have two BR 800 X and uh, one BR 800 C for fall cleanups also not um, in this video, we do have like the hedge trimmer and a few chainsaws, I think uh, MS-170 and uh, the 271 Farm Boss. Use those for uh, minor tree jobs. We don't do anything big. And then I have um, a SureTrack 14 foot dump trailer that we use for cleanups. It has uh, like three or four foot high sides on it. And then we have the Billy Goat debris loader, which we use for fall cleanup. So I have the BR800C as well. So we have three BR800 backpack blowers. Um, if I could, I would purchase like a BR600 for doing just grass clippings or whatever. These things are way overkill for grass clippings, but I do really like them for leaf cleanups and they're just a good all around blower. So that's why we have the BR800s got my straps in here I do I do strap those up but they are unstrapped currently just because you'll see yeah they're not strapped but uh, my backyard is just over here so I just kind of drove around the block to uh, shoot this video I actually filmed a whole nother video earlier today for you guys but the wind was outrageous it was terrible so I had to come back here late, late at night to shoot this one for you guys. So if you could, you know, give the bird a cracker for listening to him squawk. Hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And give me a thumbs up too. That'd be even better. All right, so to the trailer. We'll start um, in the front here. We have uh, two gas cans. These are both five gallon gas cans. Nozzle came off this one. This one is a sure can. They're both yeah, five gallons. I built this custom gas rack to go on the front of my entirely custom trailer. This is like a 14 by seven, I believe. Uh, I built it. I used to work in a pipe bending shop and I was actually the welder there. That's what I went to college for. So I'm a welder technically by trade, I guess. It's good to have a backup, by the way. If you're young and just starting in lawn care, I do highly encourage going to like a trade school or just getting something under your belt for sure. But that's a little bonus to the day's video here. Um, so the trailer, it's working out good. I do want to mention, I think I mentioned it in my last year's setup video, but I do like the single axle trailers. Uh, you can grow with the tandem a little bit. You can get bigger ones, obviously. This is about all you'd want on a 14 foot trailer here. In fact, if you weighed all this stuff out, it would be about maxed out. It's a 3,500 pound axle. Um, but yeah, a lot less maintenance with a single axle. That's the one thing I really do like about it. All right, we'll talk about the trimmers here. 
we have our FSA 135R here. This is a battery powered trimmer. In case you were wondering, works fantastic. People ask me, do we actually use this every day? And we do. It, it is our favorite trimmer, both my wife and I, and my wife's brother, we all like it the best of any of them. Um, down below here, we have the FS91R. This is kind of just a backup now because we usually only have one person trimming, but it is good to have a backup. Um, if you want to go back and watch the video just below this one, I believe was on uh, gas versus electric trimmers. You can learn all about uh, those in that video, but comparing the two, yeah, we gotta still have a gas because sometimes these batteries do get hot, so. Other than that, here, I'll show you how I charge that, too, um, in the truck. So in here, you can see I've wired an inverter into the truck because mine does not come with them. And sometimes the ones that are stock in, you know, different trucks or whatever um, don't have quite the, the wattage that it needs. So kind of slick. We just turn her on there. And then you can see the charger is on down here my uh, favorite trimmer line the old echo stuff works awesome trucks a disaster right now but thought I'd show you guys that that's how we charge those batteries and we actually only have two batteries we rotate them out throughout the day it's pretty slick but anyways we'll get back on to here uh, the KM91R combi system. I have a pole saw, we have the hard edger, and we also have the pole hedge trimmer, which all of that stuff gets used and abused for sure. But yeah, we don't do any flip edging, so I do mostly just hard edging and we charge for it. So that's kind of cool. Make a little extra dough there. We'll talk a little bit about the Z Master 5000 series here got the triple bagger on I've had a few requests as of lately uh, to bag some clippings so we've been actually bagging the last few days this mower primarily just does yards that are more than an acre it does the big stuff and the fall cleanup so this one is a 21 and I believe it has just shy of 190 on it 190 hours on it so pretty good yet uh, I got the weights on the front here. I took the big weights off the, the wheels because no real, no real need for those. Um, but yeah, that's what we use that for. It's, a, it's an awesome setup. It does cleanups well. We have a dethatcher um, that I also built for it. It's a winch lift system. And in case you're wondering why the, this controller's up here. You guys are learning all sorts of cool stuff. You'll have to go back and watch some of my old videos. One more reason to hit that subscribe button. So be sure to do that. We have the Honda. This is the HRN216. This is a residential mower that thinks it's a commercial mower. This thing is cool, self-propelled. It's got this, I really love this smart throttle up here. It's really nice. Not a fan of Toro's personal pace. That's why we run the Honda. It bags. I wish it had a side discharge, but it doesn't. Um, we're going to do a review on this. I already have done one, but we're going to do another one because that thing is pretty sweet. Let's go around the trailer here now. All right, so over here we have the Toro Grandstand. This is a 2020 model has just over 500 hours. I promised you guys a review video and I believe the next one you'll see will be a 500 hour review on the Toro Grandstand. So it's not a multi-force, but it does the job. It's a 52 inch deck. Forgot to mention the Z Master is a 60. So like I said, we use this on our bigger acreage and this one does anything from a tiny little strip along the lake to about a half an acre is kind of what is ideal for this. I mean, I've ran acreage with the grandstand as well. In fact, this was my only mower for most of last uh, two seasons ago. So that was kind of sweet, but 
haven't done a whole lot to it it's been a really good machine and it does everything very well it does hills like i said acreage tight spots uh you name it that's a great mower and it would be the one mower that i would recommend if you're just getting started in um, lawn mowing maybe not for cleanups if you're doing gonna be doing cleanups i would definitely get a sit down mower but this stuff has all been really really good to me so if you guys have any questions in regards to any of the equipment um i know i'm leaving out quite a bit here because we have so much more equipment back home but this is what we pretty much rock and roll with on the day today and um it really just is a very solid setup and um a long bed is a must by the way so they are awesome you can haul a lot of stuff in there that's it that's all i got for you guys thanks so much for watching be sure to hit that like button subscribe and uh go over and follow us on facebook and instagram too as well i'll try to um leave a little uh tab for those too so we'll see you guys on the next one god bless